Well, hello folks. My name's Ian. And of course, you know, you're welcome to me shed anytime. And, and thanks for being here. Right, well, where did we leave off last video? The last video, I, uh, I was asking, any ideas on how I could strip the, the this paper off this copper? And a lot of people, plenty good ideas. And in this video, I've tried most of them. One puzzled me. That was the uh, comment. Put it in vinegar after it's come out the fire. Put it in vinegar, and then add some salt. I'm puzzling here, so if I'm wrong, correct me. I'm sure you will. But vinegar's an acid, acetic acid, and salt is an alkali, uh, sodium chloride. So, if you add an alkali to an acid in equal amounts, you'll end up with a pH neutral liquid, which I fail to see will do anything. However, I did, I went ahead and I did add some salt to the acid and it didn't do anything. It, it didn't do anything more than what the vinegar on its own did. Maybe I should try it just with an alkali solution. I think I've got some potassium hydroxide somewhere. So I might try that. But anyway, that's for later on in the vid. Also at the end of the vid, I was breaking up some wood pallets for uh, firewood. And one had a big nasty nail in it and I carelessly hit one end and it, and it banged into me just below my knee. There's this picture here. Straight into my knee. Oh. Uh. I really didn't think much about it. I mean, let's face it, your knee. Not much fat there, is there? It's like your shin. You, you get hurt on your shin. It's painful because you're hitting the bone straight away. So I wasn't too worried. However, although it was only a tiny hole, well, the size of a nail, it, it gave me a lot of grief. I woke up in the morning with a very stiff leg. No, no. I couldn't bend my knee. Very painful night. Couldn't turn over. I'd lost the lateral rotation of my knee. That caused great pain. Uh, and I can't, I can't bend it. Bend it so the the tendon is extended, very, very painful. So, most of the day I've uh, rested up. In fact, my daughter took a picture of me, this one here. Where uh, I caught up on the whole of the Mandalorian series. Bins watch that while I rested my leg. I also watched a film. Now, my son bought me a book a while ago called uh, The Lone Survivor. It's about a, a special forces guy who, well, basically gets ambushed on top of a mountain, falls down the mountain, he has bits shot off him, he has broken bones, he's in a bad way. And uh, he, this guy crawls say, 17 miles with, in that condition to get help. Anyway, it, that, that's the book. So I saw this film, The Lone Survivor, and I thought, go on, I'll watch that to see how it ties in with the book. And it's great. I mean, it's a bit, a bit brutal, the special effects. You know, so... Uh, so I watched this Navy SEAL overcome all these odds. And I'm sitting there with my leg on the couch, I'm thinking, look at this Navy SEAL, you know, what he's gone through. And I thought to myself, come on, you've only got a tiny little hole in your leg, you know. And I thought to myself, you know what, I'm glad I'm not a Navy SEAL. And that 
that's that about sums it up. So I stayed there feeling sorry for myself until my wife said, you, you're not staying there all day. You're putting a dint, a dint, a dent. You're putting a hollow on the settee arm with your big heavy leg. So best thing for you is to get up and do some walking around and loosen it up. So I came in here and I really can't lift anything. The other thing is, I woke up Saturday night, I woke up this morning, so be Sunday morning, and my other leg, my other knee is very sore. And that's just because I've been putting all the weight on that leg and doing other things. Now come on, when you go to the, well, when you go to the toilet next time, I want you might be easy for ladies this because they're always used to hovering however for us blokes you go to the toilet only using your hands no handles anywhere sit on the toilet and keep your right leg stiff at all times you can't bend your right leg and sit on the toilet easy done you get hold of the toilet you, you kind of sit down do the next bit. That's all I'm saying. With 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 you can only hold the toilet seat with one hand. I don't want to go into graphic detail. You, you know what I'm talking about. And then try and get up. And coming downstairs, it was well. First day I came downstairs on my bottom. Bump 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 bump. Uh, second time it was like one step at a time. Anyway, we're going on way too long about that. Let's get on to how. I tried some of these, so uh, maybe see you at the end. So I've had these copper coils soaking in water for a, f uh, a couple of days now, and we'll see if it's loosened this this covering, which I can't make out is paper or plastic. Now I think uh, pretty sure it was Wizard that commented. Uh, that it was Normex. Well, Normex says to me they make Normex fire suits. So that's possibly a fire retardant paper. Don't know. But another suggestion was do it in hot water. So whilst I've got the fire going, it's a little chilly, and uh, we've got a couple of rings in there which we'll take out in a moment. I thought I'd take the opportunity to just put a pan on there with some rings at the bottom and also have a go at making some plug soup. Uh, I'm not the originator of that idea. Wouldn't have thought about it in a million years. That would be snobby scrap picker. And if I can put a link in, in, in the description of uh, where he uh, makes plug soup. To make stripping plugs easier. Well, while that's simmering, these have been soaking in water for a little bit. I'm just going to straighten them out. It's going to be a bit easier to unravel, I think. So I can just, you can see there, it's just starting to. I don't know. There's an end. Well, it's certainly coming off, but I can't say it's coming off easy. It's easy enough, and easy enough, but. I don't know. I don't know. I think it does need some heat to loosen the glue. It doesn't appear to be glue though. It appears to be tightly wound on. Oh, well, there you are. One of them stripped and took, what, 30 seconds. But we'll not do the others. 
Right. The other idea was just to take a knife and uh, you can see I've already done a few and I found that rather than going down, that if I come up and just scrape the corners off, the whole thing comes apart. The only thing about scraping towards me is I'm a, I need to have me uh, first aid box if I'm using sharp things and coming towards me. Right, well, that, that was easy enough. One of the uh, helpful suggestions I had about stripping these copper ringlets winding was to uh, if I've stuck it in the fire and I've got them red hot uh, like that is to drop them straight into water and they'll come out bright well, I've got to tell you that doesn't seem to have worked right it's uh no, no. It, oh. Water all over me steel deck, make it go all rusty now. Okay, I've got not hot. These are the ones. So in the fa in the fire, come out red hot and drop straight into cold water. And I got to say, still has this dark grey coating on it which kind of rubs off here yeah, I've got some of this uh, rough scotch bright let's see what that does Hang on, put it in that hole there oh well Well, that certainly makes it copper coloured. So, yeah, I could throw it in the fire. How does that compare to the ones I've stripped? Don't know. So, the next step would be to get the ones that's been in the hot water. Right. So, just like playing with the hammer. Right. Yes, still on the juice. Another another week before I said I would uh, partake of the uh, elixir of life. Water of life, should I say. Uh, one sec. This, this, this stuff. Uh, what's it the uh, aqua aqua vitae aqua vitae uh, what else is there at the bottom there water of life scotch whiskey and in Irish something called use breather I scrap in Irish is going to have a go at me now and say Ian just stop trying to do or read Irish is it Irish Gaelic I don't know. Anyway, let's take the pan off the stove. Okay, get that. That is steaming. Oh, look at, oh yes, look at that. I think that one just must have been a bad one. Ah, it's warm. So yes, hot water. Uh, allows me to unwrap those 
very easily. Now, I'm thinking as well, rather than just weigh this stuff in, if I can make some copper bangles. And I'm not sure if I get two and I can if I can plate them tightly maybe in the wood lathe on very slow speed and or in a jaws set and, and and twist them together I don't know I'm just thinking of ideas uh, Uh, I ended up starting to play it playing. I thought, well, what about if I make some copper rings? I know they need some work on it yet, but copper rings. But I believe copper makes your makes your finger turn green. I might be wrong on that. People let me know. I was thinking, well, what happens if I make some coils and maybe you know one up in the middle like that. And then lots of different ones going up. Uh, I can make a Christmas tree. Smaller and smaller coils ending up with lots, lots of concentric rings. But how would I hold them together? Or would I just do big one big spiral? I don't know. We're playing. Right. Let's take a plug out. I've never done this before. Snobby showed it seemed to be relatively easy. So let's take that. I don't know. Head off with that. Whoa, how easy is that? And take that and possibly. Now these are just snapping off. It certainly makes it coming out a lot easier, that snobby. It certainly does. Snobby, what am I doing wrong? Got to grip with this, haven't I? And then you can just pull the middles out, like that. Wow, snobby, you've certainly hit the nail on the head with that one. Right. I would normally take a plug and just bash it to bits. Well, I think I need to work on my technique a little. Because all I seem to do is pulling out the entire plastic bit in the middle. But, it's a lot easier, as I said, Snobby, than... Uh, the way I've been doing it in the past. Pick the hardest one going here. Just need to, I think I just need to decide which is my best tools for doing this. I might have to re watch the video that Snobby did. See, there's a bit of brass there. You can. You can get that brass there. I can pull it out in one go with a bit of wire on the end of it. Anyway, right. Let's talk. So there we go. I hope you like that ham-fisted attempt at doing things. And uh, certainly the plug soup made life a lot easier. I need to uh, practice my technique on that though. So we've got some nice, nice bright chunks of copper. And those are like quarter inch thick six milli square copper which i think is going to be a shame to weigh in well to weigh all of them in i think i could be creative with some of these i think right so that's it thank you very much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one not quite sure when that will be i really need to need, oh, oh, that's a bad joke, to let me leg heal.
Uh, don't give me grief, go and see a doctor, go to accidents emergency. It's just a little hole in my leg. And it, it's not swollen up and it's not red and there's no pus coming out of it. And if you carry on, you'll sound like my wife. Even though I know she's only looking out for my best interests. Right, Ian, in his shed. I'll finish editing the video. I'll see you in the next one somewhere.